Hello students, the next problem under the topic coordinate geometry is show that the points 7, 9, 3, minus 7, minus 3, 3 are the vertices of a right angled isosceles triangle. In our previous videos, we learnt how to show that three, form, three points form an isosceles triangle and in the next video we proved that how three points form a right angle triangle. Where we learned that an isosceles triangle is a triangle that has two sides of equal length. So we proved that two of the sides are of equal length to prove that it is an isosceles triangle. And in the next video we learnt about the right angle triangle. So what is a right angle triangle? It is a triangle in which one angle is a right angle. That is, that is one, one of the angle will be of 90 degrees. And it has to satisfy the, satisfy the Pythagoras theorem given by AB squared is equal to AC squared plus BC squared. Now here in, the, in this question, they are asking us to prove that these three points form a right angle triangle and also an isosceles triangle. So, uh, if you take a triangle which is 90 degrees at one of the sides and this is the hypotenuse. So, we have to prove that this is a right angle triangle and also it is an isosceles triangle. So, two of its sides are equal. So, we have to prove this. So, let us see how to prove that now. So, first of all, let us just take the points A, B and C and this is not plotted geometrically. So, the point A is 7, 9 and then I have I am taking the point B to be 3, minus 7 and the point C to be minus 3, 3. So, now what we will be doing is we will be finding the distance between each of the points. Then we will show that two of the distances, two of the uh, sides of the triangle are equal in order to prove that it is an isosceles triangle. And secondly, we will be proving that AB squared will be equal to AC squared plus BC squared. So, let us see the proof now. So, to prove that, first of all, we will find all the distances by using the distance formula. So, the distance between A and B will be equal to square root of now here we will take this as x1, y1 and this as x2, y2. And so by using the distance formula it will be x1 minus x2 the whole squared. So 7 minus 3 the whole square plus 9 minus 7 minus of minus 7. So it will become plus. So we will have 9 plus 7 here because minus of minus 7 will become plus 7 the whole squared. And so that will be equal to square root of, now 7 minus 3 is 4, so the 4 the whole squared plus 9 plus 7 is 16, so 16 the whole squared. And that is equal to square root of, 4 squared is 16 and 16 squared is 256. So when we add these two we get square root of 272 and so therefore AB is equal to square root of 272. So next we shall find the distance AC. So next is BC, I mean uh, AC squared. So AC squared, I mean AC will be equal to. So the distance between these two points. Now this is x1, y1 and let us take this as x2, y2 now. So what will happen? Uh, so that will be equal to square root of 7 minus of minus 3 it will become plus 3 so 7 plus 3 the whole squared plus 9 minus 3 so 9 minus 3 the whole squared and so what we will have and so that is equal to square root of 7 plus 3 is 10 so 10 the whole squared plus 9 minus 3 is 6 so 6 squared and so that is equal to square root of 10 squared is 100 and 6 squared is 36 and so it's equal to square root of 136. So therefore AC is equal to square root of 136. So let us mark this. In a similar way we have to find BC. So while defining BC we may take uh, this as X1, X2 and this as X2, uh, X1, Y1 and this as X2, Y2. So it will be uh, we have to find the distance between BC. So, I will do that and let's have it. 
so now here i have found bc so that is equal to square root of now these two so 3 minus of minus 3 will become 3 plus 3 the whole squared plus minus 7 and then uh, minus 7 minus 3 the whole squared so that i have written here and when we simplify that we will get bc to be equal to square root of 136 so now when we compare all these three we observe that ac is square root of 136 bc is square root of one, uh, 136 so therefore two of the sides are equal so ac is equal to bc which implies that the given three points form an isosceles triangle forms an isosceles triangle so now next we have to prove that it is a right angle triangle for which we have to prove that AB squared is equal to AC squared plus BC squared. So let us consider the right hand side. What is right hand side? AC squared plus BC squared. And that is equal to what is AC? AC is square root of 136 and BC is square root of 136. So we shall substitute it. So square root of 136 the whole squared plus square root of 136 the whole squared so that will be equal to 136 plus 136 so when we add these two we get to be equal to 272 units so therefore a c squared plus b c squared is equals to 272 and we have to prove that this is equal to b c a b square so what is a b squared a b squared is equal to a b is what we have already found a b to be equal to square root of 272 and so that will be square root of 272 the whole squared and so when we uh, take the square of the square root square root will get vanished and so we get 272 units we observe that ac squared plus bc squared is equal to 272 and ab squared is equal to 272 and hence we have proved that ab squared is equal to ac squared plus bc squared that is we have proved the required result to uh, result for this three vertices to form an right angled isosceles triangle and so therefore the given vertices given vertices form an right angled I mean form a right angled isosceles triangle hope you have understood this problem thank you